So someone wanted to know about the Harlequin syndrome in the setting of the Horner syndrome. So you need to know that it has to be in the setting of the Horner syndrome because there is this other Harlequin syndrome, which is a childhood thing, which has nothing to do with ocular sympathetics. So the Horner syndrome, as you remember, the sympathetic pathway runs from the hypothalamus, descends posterior laterally in the brainstem, and goes down to C8T2 level in the spinal cord. It exits the white rami, goes over the apex of the lung, through the sympathetic chain without synapsing, and then synapses at the level of the superior cervical canyon. It then travels on the internal carotid artery into the cavernous sinus, onto short course six, and then five subdivision one to reach the target organ. So this is the first order neuron, the second order neuron, and the third order neuron in the three neuronal arc for the sympathetic pathway that produces the Horner syndrome. Because these sympathetics also control the pseudomotor fibers for sweat in your face, you can get a symptom in the Horner syndrome, which is called anhydrosis. An means not, hydro means uh, wet, and anhydrosis means you're not sweating properly. And so those sweat fibers to your face can make you have anhydrosis. And you need to know that you can have anhydrosis of your face, half your body. So if the anhydrosis which is associated with the Horner syndrome, which is a meiosis and a ptosis from a sympathetic defect on the ipsilateral side. So let's just say left Horner syndrome. That's gonna associate with anhydrosis. If the anhydrosis is in the hypothalamus or in the primary neuron, it'll be your whole half of your body will be not able to sweat. And so that is what a Harlequin is. So a Harlequin is like a clown, half white and half black, or the face is half white or half black. And it's, it's a clown outfit from the Italian Renaissance. And so that's where this Harlequin name comes from. Half is sweating and half is not. If it's in the second order neuron, that is the pseudomotor fiber on the internal carotid. So that means it'll involve the entire face. But if it's just this V1, then you'll only have the sweating deficit in the supraorbital, supratrochlear nerve, or just the V1 distribution of the face. And so the, the location of the anhydrosis can form a harlequin. And in a kid, they might cry and only half be red because it's not flushing, it's not vasodilating. Half white, half fit, dry face, half red, half white face. And that is what we mean by a harlequin syndrome. Anhydrosis or facial flushing or the opposite, anhydrosis, lack of flushing on the ipsilateral side to a sympathetic lesion, an oculosympathetic lesion producing the Horner syndrome. And this we call Harlequin.